Hello and welcome back. Sevlin here. Let's play a little bit more of our train fever. Still waiting on some money to come in. And then maybe we can set up this route. I am just going to set up the first part of this route here. As soon as I can. To get it just kind of going. Wondering what the best way to do this is. It's a bit nonsensical. Alright, so right after the bridge, let's just make a tight turn. Just like that. Make sure this is flat ish. Let's get it across the road. And then let's turn it in. Like this. Oh, what the heck is that doing? Why is that doing that? It's a bit silly. I mean, I guess that's flat-ish. There's this contour line here, so it is a bit of a hill right here that I went up and over. Slope is too high. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Ah, I see. That's why I did that. Well, crap. Is there any way for me to fix this? So I don't really want to go up on that hill, basically. that slope is too high I don't see why the slope is too high I mean that is definitely high but what happens if we do this and then we go down it looks even-ish why wouldn't that work down further let's try that There we go. That'll work. Okay. Um, I will need a depot. So I suppose I'll build that over here. Just build something like this. Out of the way. Doesn't need to be any fancy anything fancy. Let's do that. Let's build the depot. Right there. And let's go ahead and set up the route while we're waiting on the money for the train. Let's just go new route. We will call this What is this town? I forget what this town is already. Just add stations. Huh. I'm adding stations later. I'll need this to be the first station. That way this can be the second, third station, and then back to the first station. So we'll do this. And we'll call this the... Sw Whoops. Swath Wood Good train. There we go. So I have a good train. And just need enough money to buy a train now. Just waiting on a couple of these trains to come in. Where are they? They're both in the middle of the track, of course. Here they come. Let's see how much this one makes. 
114k. That's not too bad. That one had to make about the same. So let's look into buying a train. Let's see. I could go with the Spanish or the Borsig. Borsig is quite a bit more expensive and the running cost is a little bit more. Um, it's a bit more of a top speed, but that's not going to really come into play. <clears throat> Fifty power. I think I may need the extra power here, so I can make sure to add on as many cars as I want. So we'll go ahead and spring for this one. I'll wait until I have enough to at least buy some cars on it. Let's see how much are the goods wagons? They carry wood and goods, so I'll just need one train loaded up with goods wagons to complete this whole thing. And they're forty k each. So I definitely want to start with like three or four. So 120-ish, 160. Yeah, this is going to be rather expensive. I'm looking at 400k, which I'm close to. And these trains are coming in, so there should be some good money coming. There we go, 460k. Let's go ahead and buy this and let's see. Go ahead and throw a fifth wagon on it since I have the money. Let's set it to a line. The Swaff Wood Good Train. Swaff. It's just a funny name for a town. I... Swaff. <laughs> All right. Let's see if it makes us any money. All right. And as you can see, as the train approaches the station, the goods start to go into it. Fortunately, most of the goods, it seems, already left. And there goes some more. And good, they're going into the station. So hopefully this becomes profitable and we can continue this to get all this wood down here. Looks like a decently easy line to build. There's a bit of a hill down here, but I should be able to get that down to level before crossing the road again here. So I think I'll build from this side first, get it down to level, say here, and then choose where I want to cross the road. I want to build as much on this side of the road as possible, I think. I mean, I don't think it really matters, but in between the river and the road, probably better than on the outside where it may be in the way for some other things. Let's see how many... How much you pick up? There's six here now. There's going to be seven by the time the train gets there. There's two more rushing over there, hope, hoping to get on this train, but I don't think it's going to happen. Nope. There'll be two more waiting for it next time. It's seven of 20, so a little bit more cars than I need, but hopefully that will change once I get this working a little bit better. Once I get the wood coming here faster, this will produce goods faster. So it'll actually be making itself a little bit of work. It does look like overall I'm probably losing a little bit of money. Which is ungood. That was only worth 31k. And this train's probably costing me quite a bit. So maybe I should have finished the route first. We'll see. See, last time there were six, there's now seven. And it looks like there'll be nine before the train gets there. Maybe ten if one comes out, like, right now. No, nope, it looks like it's going to be nine. So make a little bit of money. I may have to take out some loans to finish up this. There's a new car here. What this is is a passenger car with two more people that it can hold. I'm not going to stop my trains. 
just to add those on there. Looks like it's getting up to speed just fine. So I could add, definitely add some more weight. And yes, we did lose money last year, but we did do some construction. And this year we haven't done construction yet. So hopefully this starts to even out. It is only March. They're saying the road vehicles are starting to need to be replaced. Um, I'm going to wait for a few more of those pop-ups. And then I'm just going to do a bulk edit. Just sell them all. Replace them with the newer model. Can't really afford to do that yet right now though. There we go. We're starting to look like we might turn into profit, have a profitable year. This number is staying low. It's not creeping up. That's good. See, there's 10 goods waiting this time. So hopefully this train starts becoming profitable. Let's take a look. Looks like all of my lines aren't wanting to be profitable right now. It's unfortunate. I wonder why. Could be that the maintenance increased on them. Like, let's take a look at this car. Let's look at the details. So is that a plus 35% running cost because it's older? So I'm guessing a couple of these are around there or higher. That one's plus 50%. So it could be time to just completely redo this whole line. I'm going to lose money this year, it looks like. This hasn't gone lower than this yet. So it may be taking out loans and finishing up this line. Let's see. For some reason, my train's picking up wood from this line. I don't know where it's going. That's okay. I'll ship wood from there. I'm guessing if we watch the wood will but this wood's coming this way, so maybe it's going over here. Or potentially there? I don't know, let's let's see. There's all the goods. I don't see the wood. There it is gonna cross paths with that wood it's interesting oh that's kind of cool this woods getting on here and is going to be picked up on its way back to here that's quite nice only seven so this isn't picking up at all so I am gonna have to bail myself out here Let's just take out a million dollars in loans let's go which line was it that the buses were having trouble Croy all right let's just go and send all vehicles and sell them let's take these and let's buy road vehicles Buy one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Set it to the Croy bus line. And hopefully that'll be a little better. Those are a little bit more expensive to run and operate. But they are a lot faster. Also, while I'm at it, since I do have pretty much this entire thing set up other than the track, I am going to try and get this track done. 
Now, what was I going to do? I'm going to pause this since I'm losing money and rethink out this track. So, I want this to kind of come back this way, actually. So, instead of curving... So, from the bridge... Maybe not from the bridge, from the height of the bridge. There we go. That looks better. Let's tighten this up a bit. Just like that. So, this will be the return route. So now, I need to... So I'm only going to have one train, so right now, which I can fix later. I guess I could just connect this right here. See what this will do. Let's cancel that. I actually want this to run parallel from here. Why is it being so difficult? There we go. Let's do that. And that. And then let's connect these up. Just like that. Collision. Collision. Ah, oh, it's not connected fully. Just like this. Now, so it's going to be going this way, so it's going to go around like... going to go like this. Come down. Come over here. There's going to be no other trains on it just yet, so I'm... Well, I guess I ought to put the signals on it just to make it easier so I don't forget. So the train should be coming this way, so I'm going to put a signal here to stop and wait for the train in that station to come here. Once it's out of that station and comes across here, though, this one will have to wait here for a train that would be in this station. And then this one... here and wait here just like that there we go now I could put a second um, train on this and then or maybe even a third with this sort of setup I'm not sure how exactly that would work out especially with this end being quite a bit longer these trains would end up waiting on this one but I guess I could put in a little little switch right here and even that up okay let's take a look at the line I want to edit this one. Let's add a station. Add this one as the third station. Make sure this looks reasonable here. It goes like this. No, that's not the right way at all. Hmm. So let's delete this one. Try and add this one and see what that does. That worked out the opposite of what I thought it would. And it's still working out the opposite of what I thought it would. So let's remove this one. You know what, let's remove them all because I need it to start here no matter what. So start there, go here second, then go here third. This is the same order it was in and there we go. Now it's going the correct way. If we push play, 
This train should follow that sort of course then. It's going to come here and pick up goods first, I believe. There were no goods for it to pick up for whatever reason. I guess because I deleted the route, it probably deleted all the goods on it. Which means it'll go all the way here before it does anything else. But hopefully some wood starts piling up here. Except for the wood that's going to go all the way up here for some reason. And since I have money, I'm going to go ahead and update these buses as well. So we're going to take a look at this line. We're going to do, this is the uh, SWAF bus line. It's quite profitable, so let's take care of it. Let's see if we can get it to be a little bit more profitable. This is not profitable at all for some reason. It doesn't make sense. It was perfectly profitable before. Might have to alter something here. Let's take a look at... They're plus 38%. Plus 54%. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Let's sell. Let's buy road vehicles, let's buy I can only buy six so let's set them to the line for now and hopefully that doesn't ruin everything I'll have to buy some more later and let's take a look at the city and see why it's possible it might not be profitable let's see I do have people waiting here. Six in this bus. They're going here. Some get off, some get on. That's fine. It goes over here. like everybody got off there and a few people got on here everybody got off there it goes over here which this part may be overkill because that does take quite a bit of time out of the loop and really these people could just walk down here and get on a station that's here. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I don't know if that's what is doing it, killing the profitability, or if it just doesn't have enough. See, because here I'm making half the profit here as I did before. I really just need to add more buses. This. This train is not making any money anymore either. Hmm. Something changed. I do just need to add more buses to this line. I know that. Let's see. Forty people on that train. That's pretty good. Let's take a look at this other train. See what it's doing. They're at 28%, so uh, plus maintenance 28%, which means they probably ought to be replaced at some point in the fairly near future. Forty out of forty-two, twenty-three out of thirty. There'll be 20 people waiting here. 
There's not really people waiting for buses. The frequency is pretty low. And people aren't waiting. So I don't think adding more buses is going to help this line. Because 51 seconds is a fairly low frequency for a bus line. I mean, it is profitable. It's just not... Not much. But it could just be feeding people to my train, I suppose. I could be watching that as people come in, see how many of them... It's kind of a big thing to watch too. How many people get off the train and go to the bus? Looks like quite a few. A few of them go this way to these houses, I suppose. Let's see where they're going. Looks like most of them kind of dispersed among these houses. And the only way to do that is have a line going each way. But I don't think I want to do that. I mean, if one bus line isn't profitable, I don't think two would be. And I picked up most of them coming over here. Now, the people getting on the train, however, that may be a different story. How many people getting on the train come from the bus stop instead of from somewhere else in town? Well, anyway, I'm going to take a break here. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.